In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to find unsaturated products that have the potential to scale to five and six figures with Shopify dropshipping. So let's get straight into it. To start researching some unsaturated products, I always use a product research tool called Minia. Now, if you use the code Elliot20, you will get 20% off of your first three months of Minia. Now from here, we are going to use the Ads Spy tool in order to find these unsaturated and up and coming products that have the potential to scale to five and six figures. So I'm gonna show you the exact settings I use in order to actually discover unsaturated products. So firstly, we are gonna to come to dates and we are gonna to go to creation date and we are gonna go the last 30 days. So we're basically looking at brand new ads that have been created in the last 30 days. And that way we are going to see new products that are being advertised on Facebook instead of products that have been constantly run by so many different stores and are saturated. Next up, we're going, we are going to go to media type. We are gonna go for video ads because they generally tend to perform better. We are gonna to go to call to action and choose buy now and shop now so that we can find dropshipping stores and hit apply. We are gonna go for e-commerce platform. I am just gonna choose Shopify. You can also choose WooCommerce if you want to, but I simply want to see Shopify stores. So I'm going to go and hit apply. So now here is where we actually want to see products that haven't blown up yet. So they are unsaturated, but they have potential. So we are gonna to go to filters by engagement and where we see likes, we are gonna go from 300 likes to a maximum of 1500 likes. And this is sort of the sweet spot where the video ad is still getting a decent amount of engagement in the first 30 days, but it hasn't completely blown up to the point where the product would be saturated. So now we are going to hit apply. Now you can of course go and add some extra advanced settings such as the target audience and countries and things like that. But for now, these are the main filters that you are going to want to use in order to find unsaturated products. Now, the last thing that you are going to do is you are going to sort these by first seen descending. So we are going to see the newest ads that fit these criteria. And now we are basically looking for the usual type of product. So the product should have a high perceived value. It should have a decent profit margin of at least $25. And ideally it should solve a problem. So we can simply start scrolling through all of these different products now and we can see if there are any that I believe fit that criteria of having a high perceived value, a good profit margin of at least $25 and solves a problem. And if they do meet those criteria, then they're most likely going to be an unsaturated product because like I say, the video ad hasn't blown up yet. So that means that there's not gonna be loads of competitors testing the same product. And even the main competitor that is going to be testing the product, they haven't blown up yet. So loads of potential customers haven't already seen the product. So now we can simply scroll through. So I am going to just scroll for a few moments until I come across a product that I think has good potential and isn't saturated yet. So just give me a few moments to actually start scrolling through some of these ads. So I have been scrolling for a few minutes and I have come across this ad here. And as you can see, it hasn't completely blown up yet, but it is doing pretty well on the first day of actually running. And this is a very simple product, so it allows you to spray paint pretty much any object. If we go over to the ad itself, as you can see, the product has a pretty high perceived value. So it looks like it could be quite expensive. It does solve a problem of being able to spray paint any object at home. Now, if we actually scroll down, we can have a look at what country this shop is targeting. So they are targeting Australia. So another thing to consider when it comes to thinking about whether a product is saturated is if you can actually go and target a different country. So they're targeting Australia. So you could go and potentially target the United States or Canada or New Zealand or the UK or many different countries that they haven't targeted yet. So now if we go and scroll up, if we actually go and click through to their store, we can go and see how much they're actually selling this product for. So you can see they're selling it for $150, but I believe this is Australian dollars. So $150 
in US dollars is just under $100. So we'll call it $98. Now, as you can see, they have built a niche store. They are using the Debutify theme. And I recommend to always build niche stores. Do not build general stores because people don't tend to purchase from general stores anymore. So as you can see, their store is called Tool Express. They're selling all different types of tools. They have a really good product page here. So now we can see if we can actually find a supplier for this product. So if we go back to Mania, we can click on find suppliers. You can find products on Zendrop or on AliExpress. I'm gonna go for AliExpress. We can go and choose one of the product images. And as you can see, there are multiple different suppliers for this product. I'm gonna click on this first supplier here and you can get this exact product for $40 with free shipping. It looks like the shipping is around seven to 14 days, which is pretty decent. And as you can see, there are 287 sold of this product and it does have five star reviews, which is a very good sign. So I would say that this product meets all of the criteria. It has a high perceived value. It has a good profit margin. So they are selling it for $98 and you can get it for $40. So that gives you just under a $60 profit margin, which is very good. And now finally, we can take it one step further with Minia to see if the product is saturated. What we can do is we can scroll down and we will see this magic search. And the magic search will basically go and show you all of the other stores that are running ads to a similar product. So as we can see, Tool Express are running two different ads and they're both doing fairly well on Facebook. And then if we scroll down, there's not any other stores actually running ads for this product. Then what you can basically do is you can simply just keep an eye on the main store that is running this product and you can see if it actually starts to run for a few more days you can keep an eye on the engagement so if the likes and the shares and the comments start to go up and that way you know the product must be doing fairly decent in terms of sales but it isn't completely saturated because only one store is running it and you won't have hundreds of competitors trying to sell the same product and like I say, you can go and try and tap into a different market. So you can go and target a different audience, a different country to the original competitor that you found on Minia. So now if we go back to the original Minia search, I am just going to scroll and try and repeat that process and find another unsaturated product just to prove to you that it wasn't luck. So I will just go and scroll through for a little bit longer and I'll see if I can find another product that I think has potential to scale to five and six figures, but it isn't completely saturated. So I'm just going to scroll again for a few more minutes. So I have been scrolling for a few more minutes and I have come across this product this time using the exact same filters. And again, I think this product has potential to be an unsaturated product that can scale to five and six figures. So let's actually have a look at the ad itself. So I'm just going to scroll up. As you can see, this product is a de-aging product and these generally tend to have high perceived value. So now we're just going to have a look. If we scroll down, we can see that they are currently targeting Argentina. And now we can go and have a look at how much they're actually selling the product for. So this particular store is selling it for $19, which I think is quite low. I think you could sell this product for slightly more than that, maybe $25 to $30, because like I say, again, it does have a high perceived value. They are going more down the route of upselling with bundles. So as you can see, they are trying to upsell the product. So this is probably how they are bringing in a bulk of their revenue by increasing their average order value with upsells and order bumps. Now, if we actually go back to the ad itself, we can click on find suppliers. We are gonna click on find on AliExpress. We can go and choose one of the images. I'm just going to choose this image here and we can see if we can find this product. So let's go for this second supplier here. And as you can see, you can get this product for just under $7, 10 to 14 day shipping, four and a half stars in terms of the reviews. So it's kind of a small profit margin and that's probably why this store is relying on order bumps. But if we actually go back to Minia, we can see if any other stores are selling this particular product. So again, we can scroll down and we can go and have a look at the magic search and we can go and see if any of these other stores are selling this product. So we can see this store here is selling it on Pinterest. So they're using a different platform to actually sell the product. 
and also this actual store is also selling it on Pinterest as well. So we can go and have a look at the Pinterest ad. So let's go over to the Pinterest ad. We can see who they're targeting. So they're targeting the United States, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom and New Zealand. So now we can scroll up and if we actually go and click through to the store, you can see that they're selling it for £22, which is where I would imagine you could actually sell this product. I think this is a lot more reasonable and it gives you a better profit margin. And I still think the product, because it has a high perceived value, it could actually sell for this type of price. So this is around $28. So that gives you around a $21 profit margin, which is kind of tight, but you, you can still make it work. $25 is slightly better, but $20 is pretty much the bare minimum. So I think you could potentially sell this product and because it's not completely saturated, it would be easier to sell it with a lower profit margin because you won't have as many competitors selling the same product. And as you can see, again, they have built a beauty niche store. So most of the products that they will be selling on their store will be within the beauty niche. And as I mentioned before, niche stores always work the best because they allow you to test multiple different products, but they don't look exactly like dropshipping stores. So customers trust them more, which is always going to increase your conversion rate. So there you go. I have just found two unsaturated products within a few minutes that I believe can scale to five and six figures using some simple settings on Minia. And you can repeat this process for yourself to go and find some unsaturated products that you can test on your own stores. But like I say, just remember, you do want to be building niche stores. So don't start looking for unsaturated products in loads of different niches unless you have built stores for each of those niches, because otherwise it's going to be difficult for you to sell the product because customers generally tend not to trust general stores anymore. People are catching on to dropshipping, so you have to be slightly different when you are building your stores. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you do use the code Elliot20, you can get 20% off of your first three months of Minia. So check that out using the link in the description. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.